Shibuya and we're gonna do some Halloween shopping Ooh. I'm super excited I love Halloween it's my favorite holiday let's see what we can find so our first stop is going to be Don Quixote and I'm sure they have a crap ton of Halloween items so I'm really excited to see what they have I love Halloween They're just basically big old one pieces that you slip on. Like this, I'll show it to you. Like this. So they have a bunch of these one pieces and they're about $40. Oh my god, they have Cheshire. How cute is that? Oh, but it's just like, it's like October, right? And it's not even cooling down in Japan yet. It's still really hot, so I can't even picture wearing a one-piece jumper right now. What else do they have? What's this? Any zombie Chinese culturally appropriating costume? Is it Chinese? I'm not even sure. Oh, here's another one. Can you see the zombie face? So besides face paint, they have actually face painting markers, which I think make it a lot easier to design things on your face. Kind of cool. They're only like about 400 yen, just a little bit under. Wonderland costume. Oh my god, the music is so loud. This, this is everything. Japan gang costume. Apparently this is replicating a Yakuza costume, I suppose. This is so strange. Look, I don't know what it says on the back. What is this? Strange. I found another one. Japan gang costume. This one in purple. Apparently this is what Yakuza women look like. And it's almost about $90. It's quite expensive. Oh my god, they have a bunch of them. They have one in white. Purple. Pink. Black. Alongside with the police women costumes. Costumes starting from like a thousand yen all the way up to really expensive to those nine thousand yen costume. Pretty legit bell costume right here. This one's about eighty dollars. Looks pretty good. Oh, they have a Cinderella one, a transformed Cinderella one, a Little Mermaid that's nothing like the Little Mermaid. Oh, what is this? Oh, they got the um, evil stepmother from Cinderella, and they also have Mulan. They even have. Cheshire! Okay, well that's it for Don Quixote. So they had a bunch of costumes um, ranging from like a thousand yen all the way up to like about a hundred dollars. A thousand yen being like ten dollars. They have a lot of different stuff for makeup and um, so cosmetics, paints, um, glitters. And they also have uh, quite a few decorations in there as well. So yeah, just your standard Halloween aisle, I believe so. Um, but now I'm gonna go check out a couple other stores to see what they have to offer. So for me personally, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Um, I love costumes, I love spookiness, I love scariness. Thank you, let's grab some of this. Um, <laughs> uh, I just love everything about Halloween. I love 
horror films. I, I just I just love it. There's no other holiday where it's like the main theme is to be scary. Every other holiday, if you think about it, has to do with love, happiness. So Halloween's very unique for me because I just love the spook factor. Okay, I think now I'm gonna go into Shibuya 109 and see if they have anything interesting. I can't believe it. It's October. I'm just ready for fall. I'm wearing brown. I'm dressed very fally. But yeah, there's no fall to be found. So right now I'm in Plaza. It's one of my favorite stores in Tokyo. It's really cute. They have a bunch of different items. Some are like shipped in from other countries around the world. Toad Alley. I don't know what that is. I don't know what country that's from. Definitely not from Japan. They have some like this stuff really looks American. The way it's oil wrapped. Chocolates. They have these ghost chips. What are these from? It's called Monster Munch. I actually wore this in one of my vlogs. The Super Mario Airbnb vlog. They actually had it there. They also have a Super Mario hat, which is really big. So Plaza's Halloween section was actually quite small. So I'm gonna go to some other stores in Shibuya 109. So it looks like they have some pretty macadamia kind of shake. What is this? Berato pudding macadamia blah 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 and ice cream. But I'm on that keto intermittent fasting deal, so no treats for me. Perfectly honest, I haven't been finding too much in Shibuya 109 as far as Halloween items go, but I am still looking. There are a few little nicks and crannies in Shibuya 109 that have Halloween items. It's just not as much as I thought there would be. Uh, not even like a specialty like Halloween pop-up store. So I'll look at Tappet more and then I'm off to our next destination, which I'm not sure what, where I'll be, but I'll be there. I'm leaving Shibuya 109 now. See? We're... Bye Shibuya 109, see you! Alright, anyways, I'm leaving Shibuya 109 now and I'm starving. But, that aside, I want to go to one more location to see what else I can find for Halloween stuff. Oh, actually, look, I just found something. So, right now I'm at the Baskin Robin and Robins, Baskin Robins, 31 flavors, and they have a slime magic Halloween ice cream promotional set so it looks like you can get a uh, sundae or just their seasonal halloween flavor look they have cute mini sundaes just one scoop and then also this is really popular in japan for 31 flavors you can actually get boxed ice cream so it comes with one two three four five different is it five no six different scoops of different flavors of ice cream and they keep it cool and it's really interesting they put in these like little cupcake holders I've had it before, but I will not be getting that because I'm on that keto intermittent fasting, so no, 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 no. Okay, so I made it to my next destination, which is, let me show you. Loft. So I'm gonna go to Loft, which is one of my favorite stores in Japan. So these little mechanical things, once they stop spinning, it, it spells Loft. But I don't know when it stops. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there it is. Guys, I'm having some problems finding some Halloween stuff in Loft, but ain't gonna lie, it feels really good being in here. Oh my god, the air is so good. Ooh, oh, found more Halloween stuff. Wait a minute, this is not Halloween, this is everyday Japan. Don't. So, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like liking Japan and liking things from Japan and liking Halloween come hand in hand. Like, I feel like the mass majority of people who like 
Halloween would also like Japan and vice versa? What do you guys think? So let me know down below if you like Japan but you don't like Halloween. But you know what? If you like Halloween but don't like Japan, you probably wouldn't be watching my channel. So, okay, I'm going up to the last level of love and hopefully I can find more Halloween goods because I gotta go. I got appointments, got things to do. It's 12 o'clock, I already hit 7,000 steps. Guys, I literally just turned the corner and I found the holy grail of Halloween items in Loft. Let me show you. Stop, don't wait till she kills you. Don't wait till she kills you. Don't wait for it to stop. Look at this. They have this bunny. Oh my god, it's too cute. And then they have a lion. I don't know what it is, but it's a bunny and it's a lion. And there are headbands and whatnot. Look at this cute little crown! <gasps> Rainbow ghost! Rainbow ghost! Oh my god, this pumpkin plate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this Halloween garland. It's so cute! Okay, I gotta stop using cute. Other adjectives, Amanda. Other adjectives. Okay, these balloons are amazing. <laughs> So it looks like they have a shit ton of different candies. Some that you can already find here, like Haribo. And then also some Halloween themed treats. <gasps> what is this one? This one is a eyeball gummy. Oh, cool. Yum, yum. I want to buy some, but they're like a little expensive. 350 yen. Decorations. Wow, this is pretty legit. Oh, it looks like they have a lot of decorations. Not decorations. Looks like they have a lot of different cosmetic decals. Or like face decals and cosmetics, like face paints, face paints, more face paints, blood, which I guess you can find anywhere. Oh, they also have tattoos. Oh, taboo taboo in Japan. Oh, this is really cool though. Look, I like this one a lot. Yeah, they have a lot of different stuff here. I'm pleasantly surprised at the white selection they have here in Loft, but they do, they have a lot. My god, they are bumping, Taylor! Okay, this is the ultimate I don't give up costume. But I really hope you enjoyed this vlog of me shopping for Halloween items in Shibuya, Tokyo. If you like Halloween and you like Tokyo, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. And I hope to show you more Halloween item themed food, shopping, costume, everything Halloween in Tokyo. Because Halloween in Tokyo, Japan is awesome. I love it. Alright, well I gotta go. See you next time. Bye!